Hello and welcome back viewers of AVG News. My name is Mkolisi Nube and today I want to respond to some questions that I've been receiving from ZEP applicants who want to try uh, their luck on the relative visa in South Africa and they want to know uh, more information about that. They want to know what is required and who qualifies for that. So this is what I'm going to respond to. But before I go ahead, may I, as per custom, request you to subscribe to this channel, like this video, and share it. So a relative visa allows any person who is an immediate family member to apply. And by immediate family members, we are talking about a spouse of a South African or somebody who has permanent residence or citizenship in South Africa. We are talking about life partners. We are talking about parents of South Africans. We are talking about brothers or sisters of South Africans. Uh, so these are the people that are eligible to apply for a relative visa in South Africa. So there is a criteria that is set aside. Uh, among the many things that you need to satisfy, you need uh, to have a proof of cohabitation and shared financial responsibilities for, for at least two years. You need to have uh, uh, spouses or and civil partners do not need to meet the two-year cohabitation requirement. Uh, parents of South African nationals or residence holders would need to prove their biological link through an unabridged birth certificate of the major child. This application is not possible in cases where the child is still a minor. Uh, a children of South African citizens or residence holders would need to prove the biological link through an unabridged certificate of the applicant. Brothers or sisters of South African nationals or permanent residence holders need to prove the biological link through an unabridged certificate, birth certificate of the applicant, as well as one for the SA citizen or residence holder, that is a permanent residence holder. The application is not possible in cases where the South African national or residence holder is still a minor child. Another essential rule to take note of is that successful applicants in this category will not be able to work in South Africa. You also need proof of financial means from the South African national or permanent residence holder and the amount that is uh, required in this instance is 8,500 rands a month that the South African national should be earning or have proof uh, of getting every month. So I hope this has been explained on who qualifies for a temporary residence visa based on a relative being a South African national or a permanent residence permit holder. We will then come up and um, come back with the documents that you need to then have or to submit upon application. So I hope you now understand who qualifies, how they qualify, then we'll come back with the documents that you need to submit or you need to have or to finish the home affairs officials with when you apply for this kind of permit. I hope uh, in the interest of time and your data, this then answers your questions. But if you need to ask more questions, please use the comment section under the uh, underneath this video to ask the questions that you need and then we'll come back here and respond to them. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel, like this video and share it. Thank you.